Joining us right now in a Fox Business exclusive is former Whitewater Independent Counsel and former federal prosecutor Robert Ray. Robert, thanks very much for joining us. We appreciate your time today. What are your observations about this uh, server now in the hands of the Justice Department? Well, that's a significant development because that means it's in the hands of the FBI. The FBI doesn't do anything other than criminal investigations. And I don't think Donald Trump is quite right because uh, the head of the FBI is Jim Comey who's the former deputy attorney general in the Bush administration. That's an interesting point. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. So I, it's a significant development, although it's a little early to jump to the conclusion about what could be made of this as far as a criminal case is concerned. I mean, the first question, and uh, Mrs. Clinton points to the, the relevant issue, and that is, was it classified at the time? And as far as a criminal case is concerned, did the people that had access to that information and transferred it, did they know that it was classified? But, I mean, if, if, if those were classified, these two emails, and, and I understand what you're saying, maybe they weren't classified at the time, wasn't everything that she was sending, I mean, it was all from her personal email. How do you get around not having classified information if it's all coming from the same server? It's tough because this looks a little bit like a private government going on, and right. that's a dangerous thing, which is presumably why we have all these rules in the first place. And she's the Secretary of State, so she's operating at the highest levels of government and has access to classified and top secret information. So it's a problem, and it's particularly a problem, as again, Donald Trump points out and others have pointed out, including at the time, uh, Senator John McCain, what an unfairness this is when you compare that to the situation about how this matter was handled relative to uh, General Prate well, Petraeus. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because everyone is comparing this to the General Petraeus story, and basically General Petraeus was was treated a lot more harshly. Well, it's so a, far. It's a question of equal treatment under the law. John, T talk to us about the server. Um, the emails were erased from the server. Uh, uh, Clinton has said that. Look, we've taken everything off uh, that was that was uh, kind of related to this issue and personal uh, to me. Uh, and that, that wasn't done, she says, with any malevolence, but it was just kind of clearing out the server. Can the FBI now reconstruct all that material? They may be able to because I think, as we know, in today's world, anything that's on a server or trafficked you know, electronically is never fully capable of being deleted, which is to say the FBI has access to pretty sophisticated techniques to be able to recover anything that may have once been on that that server even if there were attempts made to delete it. So we're likely to find out if there were any footsteps that are now being covered up? I think we're likely to find out something. Now, you know, there are some, you know, there are people who are very sophisticated or capable of erasing things without a trace. But generally speaking, that's not something that the average person is capable of doing. Oh, wow. Politically, how much does this hurt her? How far does it need to go to do real damage to her campaign? Maybe you can look at the Bernie Sanders poll about New Hampshire and say it's already hurting. But with the Justice Department, the bigger question is how, how far do they pursue this, particularly in an election year, one controlled by a Democratic president? Well, that raises the political question, and that's a far more difficult thing to determine. It's one thing to have the FBI investigating, as they appropriately should do, because there are national security implications involved. It's quite another thing to talk about entering the higher reaches of the Justice Department and prosecutorial authority mm -hmm. to decide whether or not a case should be brought against her or against any of her people. It suggests, though, given the, the signs that we're seeing that many of the people that you know, her staff are now getting lawyers that they're obviously concerned about the potential well, and implications. They handed the server over to avoid the optics of the FBI going in and taking it. I, that's the, I mean, what they, has been said. She, she was pretty adamant saying that server will stay private and right. now it's not. And this so thing led clearly... with, and this thing led with her lawyer David Kendall, who apparently had access at least to copies of a portion of that server on a flash drive, and right. he's now surrendered the flash drive right. to the FBI. So, you know, it, it, when lawyers get involved, it's complicated, and there are concerns a lawyer would le would be legitimately concerned about potential allegations of obstruction of justice. Bottom line, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. This is serious. Robert, good to have you on the program. Thank you. Thank you so much, Robert Ray, joining us there. I mean, we have.